Hey guys, welcome back to 4K Motoring. I'm Chris, and today we're going to do a little bit of work on the Ducati. I've got one of the accessories for the new Multishada V4S. Also, coincidentally, works for the new Desert X coming out. It's going to be the same part. We're going to go ahead and install the upgraded handguards available for the bikes. For those of you that have been enjoying the Multistrada content, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. That way you can stay tuned on what's coming next. Obviously with the new bike, we're still having a couple little issues with it, and we're planning a pretty big road trip coming up that I'm sure we're going to find out a lot about it. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned to 4K Motoring, and there's going to be a lot more of this this year. This really shouldn't be too difficult of an installation. I just kind of wanted to show you the difference between the factory handguards that you get on the bike and the new upgraded ones. They're called the Touring Handguard. They have a lot of extra wind protection available, but they also most notably have a metal aluminum side piece here that offers a little bit more protection. And I think the style is just a little bit better. So on my 2015 Multistrada, it had plastic handguards just like the 2022 does, but they were made in a couple pieces that were reinforced a little bit. So they're a bit stiffer, a little bit stronger. They had the turn signals built into them and they were two colors. So looking at the front of the bike, they looked a little bit better, a little bit higher quality and just a little bit more special. When I saw these, I really didn't like them a whole lot. They're very flexible and really don't have a lot of strength to them at all. When sitting behind them, they look very generic and not nearly worthy of the price tag of this bike. So we're going to go ahead and install the new ones. The new ones, I believe, were well under $200 for the set of them. And again, they work for the Desert X and the Multistrada. We're going to go ahead and install them. It shouldn't be too difficult of a process. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so in the kit, what we have is our right side and left side hand guards. We've got a set of screws here. We've got our outside aluminum edge. As you guys can see, it's pretty beefy compared to the plastic one. Each side is going to have an actual hand guard, which can run by itself. And then there is an extendable wind deflector that's going to go on top of it that you can remove or add depending on how much wind you really need to block out. We're going to start by attaching the mounting plate to the handguard. On the inside of the handguard, we're going to go ahead and put our two spacers in. The way they sit flush, we're going to have two bolts that go on the outside that are then going to press into these. Now we're not going to tighten them down all the way just yet. We want to make sure it's all mounted to the bike first. These have a little bit of slide available in them just to make sure everything fits the way it's supposed to. So we have our option right now to use the hand guards with the extra wind deflector and not to. Depending on the time of year, you may want additional airflow, you may not. Because we're getting ready for our trip, we're going to go ahead and place our wind deflector on here. There we go, just like that. We're going to place our wind deflector on. And as you can see, there's going to be the three screws that go right on in. For reference, these bolts are going to be 4 millimeter hex bolts. These are going to be T20 bolts. So we can see our hand guards here with that top piece are pretty tall. They should do a pretty good job of blocking the wind and they've got a couple different components and different colors going on. So I think they're going to look a lot better. The mounting hardware for the side and back on the inside, they're going to be reused from the factory hardware. So we're going to have to take off the hardware that's on the bike already and swap some of that over to make it work. We're going to have to swap this side bolt and this top bracket if you guys can see on the inside here we're going to swap that over as well both of these bolts are going to be six millimeter hex bolts all right and just like that our hand guard is out let's go ahead and swap over some parts and get it back in 
One thing worth noting is that we're gonna have to switch over this bar insert. It goes on the new one just like it came off the old one. So just take it off, make sure you make note of the orientation of the pieces, swap it over, and it really should be that easy. On the inside of the factory handguards, this is the piece we're gonna have to take off and swap over. Hardware is already included. The main bolt is gonna have another spacer washer thing in it. Make sure you keep that with the bolt and don't lose it. There is not a lot of torque on these bolts. Again, these are T20 bolts. We're just gonna swap them over directly. These screws are going into plastic. Make sure you don't strip them out. And to note, the pegs that they're going into are kind of freestanding. There's not a lot of support for them. So don't put a lot of force because you don't want to break one of these off. You can see the factory one was already split by whoever installed it. So it doesn't take a lot to do that on these handguards. Just to give you a good side-by-side -side look, here they are. Here is the fully installed touring handguard. Very solid. The top little wind deflector there, we can very easily see we can access those T20 torque bolts from the mounted position. We don't have to take this off. So if we ever did want to take these handguards off, it wouldn't be too difficult to do that. And we should be able to accommodate summer riding versus winter or wet weather riding pretty well. So personally, I think that new handguard looks a whole lot better than the old one. Looks a little bit more high quality and matches how I think the bike should look. Blends in really well with the silver body panel on the side. And I think it's a good look for the bike. We're gonna go ahead and install that side over there and we'll see what the whole thing looks like put back together. Okay, the new handguards are on both left and right. We have our extra wind deflector on as well from the side of the bike. You can see they definitely look better than the old ones, at least in my opinion. Again, these fit the Multistrada V4 and the new Desert X as well. They might fit the Multistrada V2, that I don't know, but at least on the V4 and the Desert X, it's the same part number for the handguards. Overall, very easy to install. When you're not on camera, it's installed even faster. You need a five millimeter hex for the actual mounting points to the bike. You need a four millimeter hex for the two mounting bolts for the actual bracket. And then you need a T20 Torx for some of the interior screws. That's it, it's that easy. Swap them out, less than $200. I think this is a nice addition to any Multistrada. Another product we picked up in preparation for our road trip down to Austin, Texas, our roughly 3,500 a mile road trip, I picked up a Kriga dry pack. This is a 20 liter. I've had roll bags and dry bags before. I realized I don't know where any of them are and I think I might have thrown them away or they've gotten old or something like that, the ones I've had in the past. It's been quite a while since I used any of them. With the three different saddlebags, the two side bags and the top case, there's a lot of storage on this bike already. Do I need more? Probably not. I can probably make all three of these bags work, but with this extra 20 liter bag, that provides a bunch of extra storage, basically a fourth saddle bag. That way, long distance trips or long timing trips, you can really carry a lot of stuff and keep it a lot better organized. Maybe only take one bag off a night or something like that. We're gonna go ahead and take this out of the box and see how easy it is to set up, and I'll show you the space inside. This was another pretty easy installation. Our Kriga 20 liter dry bag installed pretty quickly. Our rear straps, there are plenty of mounting points to the frame that you can go with. I went across two mounting points. You can go over just one, whichever one you want. It basically just creates a little loop here that this adapter can hook onto. When it comes to the front of the bag, towards the front of the back seat, it was a little bit different. There's no real frame loops that we could access from the front to mount this 
front loop. So what we had to do, we popped the seat, we hooked two of these loops together on both sides, ran it under the seat, behind the actual seat post in there. That way it can't slide forward and it is secure on both sides. Trying to pull on it on both sides, the tension keeps it down pretty well. I'm really not able to get much movement at all with it, so I think it's gonna be fine. Our top straps here are adjustable, so as we fill the bag up, we can cinch it down and always keep it tight. Overall, I think this is gonna be a great little bag for this bike and for our trip. Well, that is all we're doing for today. I think this is a decent addition. I think we've got a good set of accessories on this bike between the hand guards, the gas cap, our extra driving lights down here, and our bags. I think this is a pretty good set of accessories. It's gonna treat us well, and I think be some of the most effective and efficient pieces we can add to this bike. As always guys, thanks for watching 4K Motoring. Really appreciate it. Again, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If there's any long distance touring tips that you guys have for equipment to get for a bike, or things that you need to have with you on such a trip, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. If you have suggestions or just tips for anybody interested in long distance motorcycle riding, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'm sure everybody here would love to hear about it. Again, I'm Chris, this has been 4K Motoring, and we'll catch you next time. Yeah.